Okay, hi everyone. Back here again today with Travis Smythe. We're going to talk about a draw now. Travis not really comfortable to hit a draw if he doesn't have to. His stock shot's a bit of a fade. But we're going to go through a couple of fundamentals and see what he feels when he's out on the golf course to try and hit a draw. So give us a little bit of feedback, mate, on what you feel like you, you do to hit a draw, and I'll talk about what I feel like. Yeah, so for me, um, first of all, I don't feel that comfortable controlling a draw with driver. All my other clubs, it's okay. The driver, yeah. I feel like I have to work a bit harder, so therefore I just hit my fade. But you know, when I'm indoors and I'm practicing, I'm, I'm trying to hit all the shots. But so, yeah, to hit my draw, I try and get really closed off with my sort of chest and hips, so that, that allows me to swing out to the right, which is what you want to do for a draw. Um, and, you know, just kind of, just keep rotating through the ball, obviously path into out, um, and just, I don't know, try and feel a draw. Yeah. All right, let's give it a go, even though, you know, you're not comfortable with it. Yeah. And what Travis is basically saying here is not everyone's going to feel comfortable, even at Travis's level, he's still not comfortable with that feel, but he practices it to get better anyway. I'm closed off. Yeah. That looks really, really good. We can see there's his perfect oh, one draw. left shape. Draw. There you go, surprised himself a little bit. But I guess the big factors here for me were, Travis worked it more to the inside. He used his body to draw, he doesn't use his hands, so it looks like a bit of a, what we call an open face draw, because Travis feels like he still exits around the ball. Yeah. How I feel when I draw the ball is a little bit different. Trav, I feel like I set up a little bit left. I start with the club. A little bit where John Rahm explains that he feels like he's four or five inches behind the ball. So that maybe even more. Your body. Sets the chest a little bit close. Therefore, I feel like I can get this right shoulder to feel more under or around. So my shoulder's going that way on the way through. And then I turn my body through the ball. Similar to what Trav feels, probably, you know, you feel like you're turning your body to draw it. Yes. But we're not stalling and using our hands to turn it over. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't. You don't want to try and flip draw it, just uh, body, body release. Draw. Body rotation, yeah. yeah. So the, the shoulders feel as though when you draw it, the right shoulder's pushing out to the right, maybe a one o'clock angle, and then the body's kind of feeling like it moves to 11 o'clock. Yeah. So we're rotating around. It's a, more of a horizontal motion, rather than the fade being a little bit more vertical, Yes. which gets a left path and sends it in the opposite direction. But there's kind of a, a good feel from Trav, and I guess for amateurs out there looking at it, not everyone's comfortable to play different shots, but at Travis's level, he still needs to practice a draw because come Augusta and the Masters at some stage, you're gonna have to hit a little draw, you know, to get around those par fives. There's always trees in the way that you have to draw it around. Exactly. So there you go, hopefully there's some good feedback uh, from uh, Travis, and you can you practice some of those feels to you know, get a bit of a right to left shape. Cheers, mate. Cheers.